Wait, I don't twist the knobs, I roll the knobs. Oh, oh. oh well, hello there. I was just pretending to do some color correction. <laughs> so, using Rec 709 LUTs on set is all fine and dandy, but let's take it a step further and apply our own custom LUTs and then play around with them on a test scene. We first filmed some test shots with the lovely actress Danny Huang and loaded them onto our DIT station. You can easily create and export your own LUTs from DaVinci Resolve or SpeedGrade, but I have the industry standard Pomfret Live Grade here. This is the de facto standard of live color grading on set, but not every job calls for something this fancy. Today I'm just going to spin the wheels like a little idiot, like this, and this, and boom! I have a Smurf LUT. Yeah. Now I can easily export this custom LUT and then load it onto the LUT enabled monitors and wireless receivers and we can have Smurf City. But let's do something somewhat realistic here. I'm about to DP a film that harkens back to the black and white Buster Keaton movies. Now I need to find the best black and white film stock emulation LUT. I'm going to run some tests today to find that perfect look. I'm using one of my favorite plugins, Film Convert, to choose the options I like and export LUT files right from the plugin. They have looks customized to tons of cameras and profiles. I export a few film stocks to play with because I'm the indecisive type. I load the LUTs onto an SD card and plug them into the LUT enabled small HD monitors. And boom! I could browse through all of them. It's especially fast to switch between them with the 502. Of note is that in the current 502 firmware, whenever you reboot the monitor, your LUTs disappear and you have to reload them all. But don't panic, they promise that it will be fixed in the next firmware update. But for now, just don't turn it off. Don't, no, good. On set, as I light the scene or operate the camera, I can do so knowing what the end result is supposed to look like, instead of blindly looking at a log image. Loading the LUTs onto the bolt receivers needs a USB cable and the bolt man Erger app. Syncing to the Bolt's internal memory takes a few minutes, so if you're on a fast-paced set with a grouchy client, I highly recommend loading the LUTs on prep day, so that the director doesn't glare at you for taking so long on set. After they're all loaded up, I just need to use this little nubby thing on the receiver to switch between the LUTs. Having this power in a wireless package makes it easier to communicate the visual creative direction to the rest of the crew. If you're indecisive like me, you can have several monitors, each with its own receiver and a different LUT. Finally, to give your director the power to get the hell out of the way from your camera, use the TerraDeck clip and cube. Then hand him an iPad with the LUTs loaded into the TerraView app. They can walk around seeing the live picture with the color grade applied. On to actually testing for the film I'm DPing. Now I can see that the Fuji Neo LUT from Film Convert looks great, but I need to tweak the lighting a little bit, since the couch is glowing in a kind of nuclear kind of way. I check out the shot in Video Village and play around with some other LUTs to see if there are better options. The director and I finally settle on a look and a lighting paradigm to go on, and we're ready for the shoot day. Now on actual shoot day, the footage is still recorded in log, retaining maximum latitude, but we'll be working on sets seeing the plan end result, live on screen. That's a ton of power to visualize and collaborate on set, making it super convenient and just damn fun. Thanks for watching this LUTtastic video. Please click the subscribe button to get our latest videos as they come out. Click it. Click it. Please. 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 Just click it. It's right here. It's right in front of you. You just had to click it, man. Why aren't you clicking it? You should be clicking it right now. <laughs> Emily just said klutz. Klutz. I'm a klutz. Any other LUT jokes out there? You're just the LUT of the joke. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>